So in essential tremor, the main neurological symptoms and findings are of tremor. In Parkinson's disease, in addition to tremor, patients often have slowness, stiffness, walking difficulty. In Parkinson's disease, the tremor is often just when they're sitting and not doing anything. In essential tremor, the tremor is more while they're doing certain things like riding, drinking a glass of water, or eating, and that's what makes their tremor more disabling or bothersome. So currently, there are very few medications that are available to treat tremors. Even with the medications we have today, over 50% of the patients still have real bothersome tremor that's impairing them. In those patients, we only have surgical options such as deep brain stimulation uh, to help with that, which is an invasive procedure and it has its own set of complications. So right now, the treatment of essential tremor is a big unmet need for us. So uh, in uh, deep brain stimulation, the stimulation is in the brain and you need to do surgery to implant the electrode in the brain. So the issue is if we do some stimulation peripherally, can we actually provide the same results because of changing the stimulation that happens in the brain? So with that concept, the stimulation is done on the wrist uh, and with that, we were hoping there would be improvement in the tremor in the arm that the stimulation device was put in. And uh, at least in the preliminary studies, uh, we saw that it was a positive study. So uh, the early results of the study uh, shows that we did a two-part study. The first part, uh, we actually did it in the clinic where we turned the stimulation on uh, and waited for some time to see if the tremor actually improved in the patients. This group had a group that did not get stimulation. Uh, and we did notice that during certain tasks that were done in the clinic, for example, drinking or latching a lock, that the tremor did get better in those patients. And following that, uh, the next study was done as an outpatient study where the patients actually took the device home, they turned it on, and uh, they also wore the device which actually showed us how the tremor behaved at that time. And again, with stimulation, we noticed that the amplitude of tremor was reduced at home too. So again, this is a preliminary study, but it is promising uh, because it's non-invasive, uh, didn't have too many uh, issues other than some redness of the skin. So we are hopeful that the future studies also show us that this is a good option in a number of our essential tremor patients. So about 3% of the patients had some side effects for the stimulation and mainly it was some redness of the skin and discomfort. So, so there was no major issue seen with the stimulation. 